Hello and welcome to July 15, 2014. My name is Nicholas and this is your daily horoscope for Tuesday. Um, every day of the week is represented by a planet, a personal planet. So Monday was the lunar planet, the moon, and you'll feel how when Monday comes you're more emotional and in touch with that lunar energy. Well, Today's Tuesday, and today you'll, you'll experience that fire martial energy, that do-do-do, that you'll, you'll need to get your energy out. It's a good day to work out. Do your workout routine. You know, at your lunch break, if you can take a walk at work, do that. Um, just make sure that you exert some of your energy, and, and, and notice when you don't what happens to you on a day like Tuesday. Uh, notice how people drive a little bit faster and make sure that you're wary of that and, and you keep your energy in check and find a way to get that martial energy out for the day. But um, speaking about Mars, today is a very big day for Mars as it's conjuncting the North Node. Um, actually, the North Node retrograde. So the North Node's already um, a little bit going... They're, they're kind of on applying now, but they're still very, very tight. And so the North Node is about your spiritual evolution, what you're here to do in this lifetime. If everything's going right for a person and they don't feel fulfilled, what you need to do is go to your natal chart and look at your North Node. That's what you're missing. That's what you're yearning for. What happens often is we do the things that we're naturally good at. You know, the South Node is about your karma, about the things that you did in your past lives that you did several times and over and over and you got really good at. Your North Node is what you're here in this lifetime to learn, and it will be very fulfilling for your soul evolution and, and for you personally to start approaching those North Nodes. So, and the fact that it's making a square to the sun in a cardinal water sign, a square, they often say, is a stressful aspect. Um, it is, but I also like to think of it as a compelling aspect, something that just pushes you, something that gets under your skin, something that, you know external that kind of manifests that says I need to go after this I need to do this and so when you have a sun square Mars and the north node Mars is your true ego Mars is that thing that everybody you know everybody calls the sun ego it's not the sun is how you shine if all your planets are if you're aligned with all your planetary energy your sun is basically exactly how you would magnify that energy and, and show your higher vibrations of all those energies Mars is that ego where you protect yourself, where you assert yourself, where if if someone's doing something good, you think, I can do better. That's your Mars in your chart. And so when you have your sun and your Mars and your north node, the way you want to shine, what your soul evolution purpose is, and, and Mars all making this tight, mm -hmm. tight um, aspect, you really, really, really need to pursue something that's for your soul purpose today. I can't emphasize that enough. Um, you're going to have the energy for it. You need to pay attention to where you can go through that door, and you need to do it. So my north node is in the 11th house. My south node is in the 5th house. The 5th house is about personal creativity. I'm really good at being at home and making tons of art. If I'm writing things, if I'm blogging, even little sketches and doodles, uh, songs, I can, you know, I'll write my songs and my demos at home and, and it's very personal. The 11th house is about going out there into the world and sharing your gifts, your vocation, your calling to the world. And so right now by doing this horoscope, I'm very much aligning with my 11th house north node. I really hope you have access to your own natal chart. I really hope you can look at your nodal access and pay attention to what your calling is for and, and take actions in regard to that. That's what this day is all about, is taking a tangible step, a compelling step, an energized, even ego step toward your life purpose. One of the other things, I'm really connected to the moon. My moon's in Scorpio, conjunct Uranus. It's very intense, and I very, very much feel the lunar energy. For anyone who's um, emotional and, and it connects to that lunar energy, uh, this day is going to be marked with a moon conjunct Neptune. And so you're gonna, it's going to be more spiritual. It's going to be more, and it's in Pisces. Super intuitive, super um, psychic. People are going to be able to say things without speaking. You're going to be able to feel the energy around you. Um, it's a lot more ethereal. Um, it's just good knowing that. I mean... I still have to wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning and go mm -hmm. to work. So 
we all probably do. So uh, it's just good to know that you're going to be more in a dreamlike state. It's going to be. It's you might have some challenge with structure and being pedantic and 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 you know two plus two equals four logic. You might have to just allow yourself a little bit time to daydream, to take note of it, and then come back to reality. Um, but it should be feel good, and if you happen to be at home, it's a great time to be creative, to journal, to blog, to meditate, um, and pursue those types of activities. Um, yeah, so other than that, I'd like to do the card of the day. I use the Osho deck. Osho's a 20th century mystic. I recommend all of his writings. They're truly his extemporaneous talks that he gave to his disciples. His disciples recorded those talks and wrote them into books. And in fact, I believe one of his disciples has created this deck. And the deck has basically lectures. If you read the book that accompanies the deck, there's lectures that he gives on each card. Um, I really resonate with the, the images of this deck. Um, I hate doing tarot reviews, like deck reviews, because it's like you're doing a review on a person. All I can tell you for me personally, these cards speak to me personally, and that's why I like using them. Uh, today's card is the Page of Rainbows Adventure. So, uh, the rainbows represent the earth element in the Osho deck. As you can see, it's a small childlike image going on the, her path into the unknown, into the rainbow. The rainbow is about practical manifestation. It's, like I said, the earth element, bringing something to life. It really aligns with that north node message that I'm seeing in the horoscope. Um, the difference between this and maybe the full card, the full card is a major arcana card, so it has a longer overreaching purpose. It's, it's a lot more soul uh, intensive. This one's kind of like, just, just see your soul purpose. Just go for one practical thing you can do. Don't take it too seriously, and enjoy the and enjoy the path. Enjoy the process. Um, it's not about the destination. It's that you're taking these wonderful steps into the unknown and, and following that calling. So, I hope today's horoscope was helpful to you. Um, my name's Nicholas. I've got a link to my website here on the YouTube channel. If you'd like to get a natal reading with me, just visit my astrology page on that website. Thank you so much, and have a blessed Tuesday.